Question 11. Mr. Singh buys paving slabs to go around his pond. And there's his pond. We've got two types of paving slabs. We've got square ones, which are £1.95 each, and they are light grey in the corners. And we've got rectangular slabs, which are £3.50 each, and they're the ones that are dark grey in the middle of each side. He buys four rectangular slabs and four square slabs. Well, the rectangular slabs are £3.50 each, so we're going to want four times by £3.50. And then the square slabs are 195 each so we're going to want 4 times by 195 and then because we want to find the total we will have to add those two answers together so all we've got to do now is work this out so we want £3.50 times by 4 for the rectangular one so 4 lots of 0 is 0 4 lots of 5 is 20, carry the 2, 4 lots of 3 is 12, plus that 2 is 14. Don't forget to put your decimal point in and your pound sign. So the rectangular slabs cost £14. They are the rectangle, rectangular ones. We now need to work out the cost of the square slabs. So the square slabs were £1.95 and he buys four of them. So we want £1.95 times by four. Four lots of five is 20. Put your zero in, carry your two. Four lots of nine is 36, plus that two is 38, carry the three. 4 lots of 1 is 4, plus the 3 is 7. So that's £7.80. Don't forget your decimal point. Do we want the total. So to get the total of everything, we need to add those two answers together. Now, some people may be able to do this in the head and say, well, £14 and £7 is £21. And we've got the 80 pence, so it's going to be £21.80. We'll, we'll do a quick call method just to check. £14 add... Uh, £7.80. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 8 is 8. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus the 1 we carry is 2. So yeah, it is indeed £21.80. Now there is a second part to this question that says this Mr. Singh says it would cost more to use square slabs all the way round. Explain why he's correct. Well, there are different ways you can do this, but the simplest way of explaining it is to go back and look at the diagram and spot that a square slab is 50 centimetres long and a rectangular slab is 100 centimetres long, which is double the length of the square slab. So actually, for every rectangular slab, you would need two of the square slabs. So if we can prove that two square slabs costs more than one rectangular slab, we'll have done it. So we could do this. We could say that each rectangular slab needs two square slabs, which costs more. And then we would have to prove this. So, one rectangular slab equals £3.50. But all we need to do now is work out the cost of two square slabs and show that it's more. So, two square slabs equals, and it's a square slab, don't forget, is £1.95. So if we could just show that two of them are more than £3.50, then we've done it. So it's £1.95 times by two. So two fives are ten, carry the one. Two nines are eighteen, plus that one is nineteen, carry the one again. Two ones are two, plus that one is three. Put the decimal point in, put the pound sign in. So two square slabs are actually £3.90, which is more. 
and that is shown it. You could actually just go back to the diagram and actually draw on pointing to the two square slabs saying that that's £3.90 whereas one rectangular slab was £3.50 and that shows that it would be more because for every two square slabs that you use it's costing you 40 pence more.